in an ideal world there wouldn't be any contact in the sport of road racing. However, with riders in such close proximity, fighting for position before a hill or sprint, some amount is inevitable. So it's handy to know how to deal with it and how to keep yourself safe and race smart. The first and most obvious step is not to panic. If you get nudged then the worst thing you can do is to overreact and swerve over the road. Not only are you more likely to crash, but you're more likely to cause others to as well. Getting nudged from the side can be particularly disconcerting if your wheel is overlapping a rider in front. To prevent wiping out yourself, simply lean slightly in order to counteract the force from the rider who is in contact with you. Just like swerving, sudden braking will also potentially put those around you and behind you in danger of crashing. Unless it's completely necessary, don't grab a handful of brake, instead just dab them to keep your speed under control. Instead of dealing with contact, the best thing is to try and prevent it from happening in the first place. Don't try diving into gaps which don't really exist and make others aware of your presence verbally if you feel that they're encroaching on your space. Whoa! Hey! Experienced pros will be able to predict the ebbs and flows of a peloton and get themselves away from a situation before it's actually occurred. If the bunch suddenly sways towards the left and there's no more room available, then you know that the group will get squeezed and that you'll likely have to brake. There is no doubt that this is easier in theory than in practice as instincts do take over in high tension moments, but understanding the practice will help you race smarter and stay out of trouble for longer. Holding your position in a bunch is something that takes time to master and can be especially complex towards the final of a race or just prior to a key climb or crosswind section when everyone is fighting for position. <laughs>